Vandalism in a sacred indigenous region in Sunshine, Coast Hinterland is labeled as a disgusting action. Lock Point's Queensland Parks and Wildlife Service Vandalism is investigating criminals may face more than 500,000 and imprisonment of up to two years. Traditional owners say that the mountain is an extremely important cultural place and that vandalism is broken their hearts. And criminals can be sentenced to more than 500,000 and two years in prison. The attack took place in the Glass House Mountains National Park with a short religious message carved deeply on the floor of Biwa Mountain. The damage discovered at the beginning of this week angered traditional owners, hikers and parking rangers. Ranger says vandalism was carried out using electric tools last weekend. Senior Ranger Nat Smith said it was a disgusting action. They cut rocks with the lines on rock, perhaps in a depth of centimetres, up to two centimetres, said. This was reported to us by a very worried climber on Monday morning. Many people love this mountain, a very important place for many people, including the people of Junibara, is an extremely culturally important site. Rangers says the cuts are up to two centimetres of the rock face of Mount Biwa. Jinnabara custody BJ Murphy said he was emotional when he learned vandalism. Im I won't lie, I almost cried, Mr. Mr. Murphy said. Murphy said Mount Biwa was seen as the spirit of ancestor by the people of Jinnabara. He said that the site was used for sacred ceremonies and that local women gave birth to the mountain. Murphy, we see him as a mother and you know, to enter someone so deeply. Some species, one gone and the ancestors cut our mother, said. Fear of domestic detention attack realtation last month, Mr. Murphy launched a peaceful protest for the authorities to close the trail of culturally important mountain. BJ Murphy said vandalism believes that he believed that he could retaliate for a peaceful protest on the mountain last month. Mr. Murphy camp at the bottom of Biwa Mountain for more than a week in early April to educate visitors about the cultural damage caused by a walk. I wanted to make a peaceful explanation share culture and story with the hikers, why we chose to increase a beautiful path rather than climbing one of our ancestors, one of mountains, said. BJ Murphy says mountain is the grandmother of indigenous people, he believes that vandalism may be retaliating to the protest. Also, I worry about my sticking to Mother Biawa. I think the only climber was upset and a climber did it. Mr. Murphy said Mount Biawa should be treated with same respect as the Uluru and Mount Warning in New South Wales, where March is not allowed. The only thing I can say is that someone who does this certainly doesn't respect culture, he said. I mean, people are dead climbing the mountain. You know, this place was very lost and confused about what to get to close it. The guilty faces for a great fine Mr. S.